he gives the words and um, uh, sponsored by the Libertarian Future Society, which was conceived in 1979, um, and that early organization is now the first Prometheus Award of F. Paul Wilson for his novel, Wheels Within Wheels. Uh, the group was reborn in 1982, and although members come and go, a surprising number have remained loyal members uh, committed to the idea of giving yearly recognition to writers of books that not only are wonderful to read, but examine the meaning of freedom. In 1983, a Hall of Fame award was added to the Prometheus Award to recognize classic libertarian fiction. And this award, we can more easily see the breadth of the ideas and, and the writers that may be labeled libertarian. Robert Rand, Heinlein, Bester, Le Guin, Orwell, all wrote books that either prove the necessity of free human liberty or demonstrate the hell that results from the lack of it. Uh, to present the Prometheus Award, the best novel, I lived in my friend, Ben Cleve, uh, who's been writing for a number of years, and uh, you can see her uh, short stories, especially in uh, Analog a lot and other places. Um, friend? Okay, and um, also uh, another little shameless self-promotional plug. I'm going to be uh, one of the Ladies of Liberty in the upcoming 2004 calendar for any of those who would like a really nice calendar. Okay. Uh, I'm going to read the um, award of finalists for best novel. Shield's Ladder by Greg Egan. Dark Light by Ken McLeod. Night Watch by Terry Pratchett. Escape from Heaven by J. Neil Shulman. And The Haunted Air by F. Paul Wilson. I'd like to present the winner here. And it is Night Watch by Terry Pratchett. Thank you. 
Britain was about to happen, their torturers roam the streets, and this is being moved by a madman. And there he meets his younger self and realizes that he is the honest sergeant who taught himself all he knew. And what can he teach himself? That whoever you vote for, the damn government gets in. Uh, that when anarchy stalks, stalks the streets, the government will see to it that all honest people remain unarmed. Um, they don't mean it like that, but that's how it always turns out. He, he has to teach his younger self that sometimes people have to die in defence of their liberty, and more particularly in defence of other people's liberty. Um, and he has to lead by example. I was very surprised to get this award. We do not have a tradition of libertarianism in the UK, or rather every single politician will declare himself a libertarian. Um, and every single one of them will define the word in a different way. But currently we have a government of meddlers, interferers, centrists, statists, men without talent, men without wisdom, led by a prime minister who you guys appear to like, but most of us think is a man who is passionately, passionately devoted to the idea of being passionately, passionately devoted to things. <laughs> while they tinker with, uh, they talk loudly about rights while nibbling at freedoms every day. In fact, since reading my own book, I think I'm becoming a bit of a libertarian myself. <laughs> Thank you very much for my award, ladies and gentlemen. If they let us have guns, I'd be firing mine in the air right now. <laughs>
regard to the Mafia's album of Roses of, uh, of Bill Patterson, the, uh, the, the story Requiem, the story about a man and his dream to get to the moon, it is, in some sense, a very simple story, but also a story that is very deep because it is about human striving, human desire, and the will of an individual to make his dream come true, even uh, at the expense of his own health and life. I have read this story several times, and in rereading it again today, I was struck by some of the passages in the story, the, the clear, distinct uh, wording uh, that, that Heinlein used. I'd like to read a, a couple of uh, short passages from the story. This is a, in a conversation uh, between the uh, crew of the, of the ship that uh, is, is, is being proposed to take uh, heroin to the moon. And they're, they're concerned about his uh, health on the course of the, the strains of acceleration. And one of them says, uh, but uh, he'll never stand up to the acceleration. Applies, maybe not, but it's what he wants to do. You heard it. But we ought to let him. Why not? It's neither your business nor the business of this damn paternalistic government to tell a man not to risk his life doing what he really wants to do. And as I read that sentence, I thought that is a very, very clear essence of, of this powerful idea. And then later on, in a humorous passage, when they're ready to uh, take off, they ask about naming the ship. And Heinlein wrote, Harriman's thin voice reached them. Call her the lunatic. It's the only appropriate name. Harriman was a man with a dream. He was also a character with humor. Heinlein wrote to me a, a, a really clear, enjoyable story about a man, his dream, and overcoming the odds, overcoming the paternalism, the, the you know sheriff, the courts who want to, to keep him from flying, and, and to eventually achieving his dream of being on the moon. This, this award is uh, very appropriate for for this past, uh, for this uh, for this piece of writing, this award is going to be put in the Heinlein archives, uh, which are at the University of California Santa Cruz uh, Library. Uh, the, the arrangements have been made, and uh, we'll be there with the other. Uh,